Barber. My home course is Taylor Park and I'm a free agent. First throw of the day. How's it going? I'm uh, Kobe Geis. Um, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> name, out. sponsors. All right, let's, let's try that again. Name, sponsors, and home All course. Right, let's do it. All right. All right, hey, I'm Kobe Geis, uh, sponsored by Prodigy Disc, Here and There Disc Golf, and Wolfpack Disc. Ow! Um, home course is now Richmond Hill, Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you. Dylan Hine, sponsored by Prodigy Discs, and my home course is Municipal Park in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, hello, my name is Calvin Heinberg. I'm sponsored by Innova Champion Discs, and my home course is Cliff Stevens Disc Golf Course in Clearwater, Florida. Hi, I'm Ken Climo, PDJ number 4297. My sponsors are Innova Champion Discs, Keen Shoes, and Upper Park Designs Golf Bags. Home course is Cliff Stevens Park, Clearwater, Florida. Thanks. And welcome everyone to the Throwdown the Mountain number four. I'm your host Terry Miller, the disc golf guy. We just watched James throw his long putt. He actually was struggling to get to the tournament and arrived literally just moments before his tee off. As we see Kelvin, aka Vinny, with a long birdie putt on one. Dylan is in. And as Kenny is saying, they're just going to go around the circle for some easy tap-ins here on the very first hole. This is a great hole to get started on, 295 feet, slightly uphill. Kobe Geis dialed in, especially after that amazing introduction he gave us. And working the cast. four birdies and a par to get things started. Just the way you want to do it right here on the temporary course. Kobe going up the middle with the safe route. This is a big hyzer shot off the tee if you go off to the right hand side. Just looking to get as much as you can. Here Kelvin is actually going to go Straight up the middle. It doesn't get much better than that. Kenny's going with the same route. However, it looks like he's going to get hung up somewhere down on that left hand side. And James hanging out wide. Going with a forehand, which I wasn't fully in position for. And that's up and in the tree, actually. There's no two meter this weekend, but that is stuck up in the tree. Kenny with a beautiful turnover, but he needed about five more feet of clearance there. Kobe getting caught up in the trees and getting an unfortunate roll back down. This is a par four, as Dylan comes up just a bit short there. Kelvin takes a while to get his footing correct, and then also gets hung up by the same tree that we saw Kobe hit. Kenny making sure he's got his footing here. <laughs> Whoops.
and just a little toss up toward the pin. Kobe was ready to go quickly. I just barely caught that. He's double checking that he's safe. And there it is stuck up in the tree. Toss up by James. And another quick draw there by Dylan. I wasn't quite in position. Kobe's going to take his par four. And Dylan's putt Oh, is rolling on him. This is his next shot from in a nasty spot. He took his time and just didn't have anything in there to really work with. James is in. We'll see a little bit of cleanup action here. And these guys not able to attack as you'd like to see here on hole two. This is another gorgeous par four. You need to get as far as you can, maybe with a little left hand finish if possible. It is a dog leg to the left. You're throwing to a landing zone and then you have to throw straight up an alleyway, which will hopefully give you a look at the three. And Calvin with what may be a little bit Nope, that's just about right where you want to be. That's a nearly perfect shot there. As you can see by the tees, there is a carpeted area that you can throw from, or you could use the left-hand side in this case. And I'm not quite in the position there to show you, but that is a textbook drive by Climo. James here has a ton of power, but it actually gets in, him into trouble. That's a few feet further than you'd like to be. You'd like to be about 10 feet short of that. And Dylan's got a great looking throw. Again, 10 feet short of that would have been just about perfect. Kobe's trying to lay up to the alley, but as he says, he's short there. And although Calvin had put himself in a perfect position, unfortunately just giving away a stroke there, because that is a perfect drive for him. And we had already seen missed James throw, actually. He was just behind where Dylan was. Kenny with a textbook approach. This is where... James landed after his second shot. Kobe finds himself short. That's going to leave him with about a 45 footer. I'm still in position for this shot, however, with him carrying right. Don't quite see him finish. Now a little too much power there for Kobe. Solid putt to save the par. This is James' third ever tournament. I think he said he finished DFL at his first one a few weeks ago. And this is actually just his third tournament. I think he's only been playing uh, a year or two at most. He hasn't been playing that long, he said. Kenny was thoroughly impressed. Dylan asking Kenny to mark his lie so that he doesn't step on it or distract it when he's about to go for his 15, 12 footer I should say. Kenny with the same distance with the only birdie opportunity. you're taking a three there you've thrown two really nice shots <laughs> and 
and cutting just in front of that tree. A textbook shot here by Climo. Kelvin could use a little more flare on that and a little bit more distance, but he'll have a look at birdie from there. And Dylan getting hung up on that right hand side. And with a beautiful kiss off the tree, he's going to be happy with that. Again, James showing he's got power, just not quite the angle he needed. That was, in fact, a post-production cell phone disruption, just for everyone at home. Oh, no, you did not. What? Dylan finding some trouble here. This is for three. Looks like James could use a little bit of work on the uh, touch game. He'll learn that as he's such a new player. <laughs> Just a few inches high. And taking advantage of a solid drive with a great putt. I was going to take the birdie there. This will be Dylan, and the rest of the guys will tap in after that. Oh, get off of that big one. That's the way up. One of the second shortest holes, I believe, on the entire course. However, it is perched up on a hillside. And you'll see in a few moments that if you're not really within the circle, you're certainly second guessing the idea of running at the putt. Kobe with a good looking drive, looking for that to sit down though. Oh, and that one tree is the one you want to beat. As Kenny says, if you're a foot left or right of that tree, you're probably going to be parked. And Dylan's on the left. Kenny, early here in the tournament, opts for the layup. Kelvin's going to do the same. Oh, that's a layup. Oh, that's down the or not. <laughs> layup by Dylan. This is Kobe for his birdie. Beautiful putt with the extra applause from hole 10. And the long putt by Calvin to save his three after that nasty roll away. James here has a look at birdie. And he's lucky that sat down. Him and Kenny will tap out. This is a new look here at hole six. Wow, that was terrible. And new for Kobe, apparently. That was not his best effort. Sit, 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 sit. Kenny yeah. coming in chain high. Just left. Good shot. I believe this is a McPro off the tee. McPro AVR. And Dylan needed a little more air there. Kablam. Solid putt there by Dylan. <laughs> Never want to be that short on such a short and easy hole, but always good to get the two. Come on. Roll. Kenny with a rare inside the circle miss. Calvin will clean up as does K. 
Kenny and the rest of the group. We'll see. Kobe, he's going to be tapping in for three. And with the CTP, James will be left for the birdie. Working it with his cast. Here's a word from our sponsor. This is a new pin position here on hole number seven. In fact, I hadn't seen it earlier, so I was a little confused as to what was going on, but instead of making it a straight downhill shot, it is still a downhill shot, however, it is way left, and that is not where you want to be. James is going to find out the hard way. That is not good position golf here on this hole. In the meantime, I would like to thank Discraft and Sun King Dis. They are the presenting sponsors here of this tournament. PDGA A tier this weekend for the professionals, B tier for all non-professionals. I'm excited to be here for my third year in a row. <coughs> Righty Heisers have it easy here. And this is actually James after two or three other throws. He kind of hacked his way through or attempted to anyway, he finally landed himself there. It was actually pretty nasty. There was nothing I could do to record it. All right. All right. Ken, from the same distance he missed from on the previous hole. Nice straddle putt there by Dylan. Kobe with his Zach Melton impression, his new putting style we've seen says he didn't like to three putt surprisingly and so he switched up his style a little bit and he's found himself a little more accurate now this will be James again a few a uh, few extra throws and then able to tap out here this hole definitely got him you're gonna see there's quite a scoring discrepancy as he's gonna take a six after he clarifies the rest of the group Taking two. I think that was either a five or a six. I think it was a six, though. Yeah, that is a uh, separator, needless to say. Rough hole for James. He was certainly in good spirits, though. Nice looking turnover. I would have loved if it just stayed on that line, however. Finishes on the end. Similar looking shot there by Dylan. Kobe's tight on that right side. And it seemed to just take just enough off for him. Stay up. Stay up. Kenny with a great looking angle. And if you've got a solid forehand here, this is a great place for it. You just need a little more height there. Ken and Kobe here with relatively routine approaches. James puts himself pretty close. Dylan does the same. And just trying to lay it up. Oh, and Calvin finds himself OB. And BD. Out of bounds, no big deal. He still makes good on that putt. Save him a stroke. Kobe with the three. We'll see that 
from the rest of the group here. Precision and power is needed here on hole number eight if you're going to get down here for the birdie. And what may be one of the most beautiful holes in on the whole property. Dylan releases low and finds himself in the OB. Hole number nine measuring in over 600 feet. Throwing from this upper platform into an open area and the basket is elevated, tucked up on a hillside from both the short and the long tee. This is just a great looking disc golf hole. Kobe working all of that flight out of that disc. Kenny, who will be celebrating a birthday next Sunday, March 27th. I believe he said he's going to be turning fresh young age of 48. You would not know it by this drive. Nice low line drive. Could have used a little bit more turn. Calvin's looking to put some pretty serious movement on this shot. Man, the small gallery behind us on hole number. Hole number nine knows that's just an absolute crush. Dylan here moves over to the short tee, which is considered the drop zone area if you find yourself OB off the tee shot. Kenny's got a high hyzer route. And it does get stopped by the uh, small bush there. Wasn't anticipating such a high spike hyzer, but not too far from Kenny's shot. Dylan's trying to fight through not much of a window from over there. This is Kelvin's crush off this tee. A little short on the approach. Kenny for birdie. And one of the nicest putts of the day. Dylan's been struggling, but that should keep him coming back. Wait for a few final tap-ins, and uh, I'll be excited to see you guys on the back nine. It's a warm, humid day out there today. Looking forward to the action. Here at the Canyon in Brooksville, just got finished with the front nine, heading to the back. A little bit of elevation change back there, a couple short holes, a couple long ones. It's going to be fun.